All right. I received this in the mail today. Um, after I I've been searching for one for a little while now. Um, I knew of the kit and everything, but uh, as far as I know, they haven't released it again. Uh, you know, this company or any other company. Um, I have seen the overseas version. Uh, I believe it's Ravel, uh, but they can be kind of pricey, and um, I did consider buying one of those until I found this one, and this one I believe I got for about thirty bucks. So. 30 bucks I took a gamble that it was open um, and after receiving it today and checking it out thoroughly uh, it has all its pieces so I took the gamble and successfully uh, purchased a Star Trek Voyager model kit uh, this model kit is from 1995 um, I don't know too much about it uh, myself, uh, I mean, other than it's from the show, and you know that they didn't really, they released this, you know, around that time frame, and I haven't seen too many others. Um, I couldn't even say as far as the scale because it says it's, um, uh, it doesn't even say the scale on here that I can see. Uh, I looked and I didn't see it. Um, I'm not too good with scales myself in, in estimating or just guessing, so I couldn't tell you exactly. Um, and I have nothing really to base it off of, so I won't guess. <laughs> Although I didn't look in the instructions, so I, I guess that's my folly. Uh, but it is a quite big kit. I'm impressed with that. It's quite large. Um, it comes with a lot of clear plastic parts, which is nice. Um, none of the parts look damaged as the box is open, you know, and used. Uh, nothing looks damaged. There's a couple of parts off the sprues, but other than that, everything looks there and intact, which is uh, very nice. Nothing has been altered or changed or again missing which is nice um, it looks very cool uh, I can't wait to put it together there's a lot of clear parts I'm not sure how I'll go about putting lights in it if I do I'd like to because there's so many clear parts um, when I build models I kinda like to go kinda in between of you know can I do it how much is it gonna cost and you know making it look cool and trying to keep it you know accurate and you know all that but you know then again cost and and uh, capability and things like that you know really kind of hones in on on your project uh, so uh, there's not a lot to show here other than you know the main uh, uh, you know, I guess you call it a saucer piece hull uh, section uh, is there is the uh, the I guess secondary kind of hull section uh, the the main body of the ship has uh, two of these pieces um, these are the only thing that was separated from the sprues they're a little scratched but you know I mean after putting primer on there you're never gonna see that. So, um, and then everything else is here. Uh, everything else is on the screws. That was the only thing that was off. I almost threw this away, uh, and realizing that there's two other parts in there. I was glad I did not. <coughs> uh, so, and the cells. This, oh, uh, that was the insert on the front of the ship. This goes on the front of the ship. This is very detailed in paint. Uh, then it sells part of the stand, which is falling off the sprue. Um, again, a little kind of scuffed up, but nothing bad. Or, you know, capable of dealing with. It's the bottom of the stand. Uh, it's 
more parts of the ship and I did count everything, everything is here. So I'm very pleased with that. The deflector and everything else. And I don't want to lose anything so I keep everything right here. I'll show you the clear parts. And if you're if you've built Star Trek models before you probably have one of these or have seen one. <coughs> um it was kind of difficult for me to get my hands on one. I had to wait and uh find the right auction online on eBay. Uh, so I did find it. The decals are here. I put them in here because they're a little delicate. Uh but this is the instruction sheet. Uh, pretty basic, a lot of clear parts. Um, there's the decal sheet. And it's a pretty basic build and everything. I think it's all in the paint and getting it together. I will love getting this together. I love getting it displayed. I love Voyager. Love the show. It was a great show. Um, I was thinking in high school when Voyager was on TV, and it was the same night. I believe is my guitar lessons, so I would watch it sometimes, and other times I would miss it completely. And I never saw the end of it when it went off the air. And then they started rerunning it a few years ago, and I, I, I finally saw the end. And uh, you know, of course, it was great, and I loved it. And now I actually own the DVDs and. Um, you know all that so uh, I was happy to get this in the mail I was very excited so in the coming future I'll be building this I have a few big model kits like this I have the Voyager I have the uh, I think 18 inch Enterprise TOS Enterprise I have a Kazon ship that's rather big um, I have no sorry Cardassian ship uh, that's rather big. I have a uh, um, Millennium Falcon that's pretty a large kit and uh, the Star Destroyer is a pretty large kit. Um, I have another Voyager but it's in a three part set and that's a pretty small kit set up. Um, a few of the bigger kits um, and I want to display them all. I have a uh, some shelf space and I, I kind of have an idea of where I want to put them all once I get them all built. Um, so now that I have the Voyager and the only thing else I'd like to maybe get my hands on is uh, Enterprise D. I have the B, I have the E, uh, all coming builds for the future. Um, <clears throat> so <clears throat> uh, as I can't get to this right now I did want to uh, go through the box because uh, I just got it today and I was pretty excited about it. So that's the uh, USS Voyager for a future build. We'll be getting to that sometime in the future. Um, and I can't exactly say when. I'm still finishing up a few other projects but like I said I just wanted to throw up a video and uh, let uh, let everyone else check it out too. I'll be checking some reference videos online um, and reference pictures to see how other people build these. Uh, I'll be pretty excited to see how uh, uh, other people's builds have come together and I'll be uh, grabbing ideas as we go. So that's it for now and uh, check back and we'll get to what else we got going? Oh, back to the Enterprise. See.